Imagine you finished a screenplay. The final draft is ready to be shot. However, before shooting comes a very important process that we will discuss today and that is the script breakdown. My name is Akshay and this is The script breakdown is a process where one picks out and categorizes several elements in a screenplay which provide the shooting requirements for a film. This information also helps you budget and schedule the shoot of a film. The breakdown tremendously helps each department contribute to the film, whether it is the production team, the costume design team, the hair and makeup team, etc. As an example, let's break down one scene from the film Care of Kancherapalam, written and directed by Maha Venkatesh. I shall now break down the scene as I read it. Interior wine shop night. Uh, obviously the scene heading shows the location interior wine shop so we have to keep in mind that the scene has to be shot in the inside of a wine shop that comes under the location category uh, it also tells us that the scene happens at night so that we have to keep in mind that helps schedule the shoot wine shop looks packed customers are buying alcohol so we need to hire extras for this portion uh, extras to play customers. Extras are basically non-speaking parts in a film. You see extras when, whenever groups of people are needed for a scene, let's say for crowd scenes or you know when there's passers-by. Uh, these are non-speaking parts. So the shop has a cashier and two helpers. The cashier sees someone from a distance and calls one of the helpers. The cashier has dialogue. The cashier is a speaking part and that will come under cast. So we need the actor to play the cashier and we need two additional extras to play the helpers specifically. This dialogue in Telugu, Gaddam is seen giving wine bottles to the customers and looks at the cashier as he calls him. Gaddam is another character introduced in the scene so we need the actor playing Gaddam that comes under cast. We also have to have one more category of props. And uh, in this case, the props are wine bottles. Props are basically any object that the actors interact with. Gaddam looks out and he could see a woman who is wearing a scarf waiting for something on a street straight across the shop. So there is another character, this lady. Uh, we need to keep in mind in terms of uh, the cast section. There is mention of the woman wearing a scarf. So that can come under wardrobe or costume design. We notice that the woman is standing on the street. So we need to make sure that the wine shop location is located near the street. Gaddam looks at her and gestures that he'll be there in a moment. Gaddam takes a 250 ml mansion house bottle and informs the cashier. So there's a very specific prop is mentioned, a 250 ml mansion house bottle that comes under props. Gaddam speaks to the cashier. Cashier looks at Gaddam and the woman in the street and gives a nod to Gaddam in approval. Gaddam leaves the shop and walks close to the woman in scarf while he's still blushing so bad. He gives her a bottle of mansion house to her and takes money from her. Now, money is mentioned, so we need to show a few rupee notes obviously in the scene to show that money is exchanged. That comes under props. Salima, the woman in scarf, pauses for a moment, looks at Gaddam and gives him another 10 rupees. So we know now the woman is the character of Salima and that comes under caste. So the actor playing Salima has to be required for the scene. And uh, it mentions that she gives 10 rupee notes. So it's a very specific uh, note that is given that has to be added in the props. Salima tucks the bottle in her bag and looks at the wine shop. So a new prop is introduced and that is the bag. She could see every man at the wine shop is looking at her and it shows as if their jaws could touch the ground out of awe. Uh, so all those men are basically the extras that we saw in the beginning of the scene. She smirks a bit and leaves. Gaddam looks at her for a moment and heads back to the wine shop and yells at the people who were staring at her on his way. That was the breakdown of the scene. So this was a fairly simple scene to break down. 
I have sorted different shooting requirements of the scene into few categories such as location, cast, extras, props and wardrobe. There are many other categories to keep in mind as well when you're breaking down any screenplay. For example, hair and makeup. And when I mean by makeup, it's not just cosmetic makeup, it's also prosthetics, blood, wounds, stains, dirt, anything like that. Vehicles is another category that can be added in a breakdown. Special effects or visual effects, that would obviously be done in post-production. However, when shooting a scene, you might have to take note of certain requirements that have to be there to accommodate the special effects. For example, you might have to set up a green screen. Other elements of a breakdown can include stunts, uh, musical performances, dance performances. If any sound or music is played within a scene, that has to be noted. A film could also need practical effects to be done during the shoot. This could be explosions, confetti blasts, uh, if certain weather has to be simulated, for example, rainy weather or windy weather. If any scene needs animals, that has to be mentioned in a separate category. Certain elements that may not fit into whatever categories I just mentioned could come under miscellaneous. So a script breakdown is a great organizer and really ensures that you do not miss out any shooting requirement for a film or any visual medium. The more detailed a screenplay is, the more information you have on what elements would go in a breakdown. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you love cinema and screenwriting, please hit that subscribe button right here for more content. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.